Hi, welcome to Bright Kids, where we deliver results. Do you know that a group of private schools will start assessing children again formally starting as early as this fall? Due to the COVID pandemic, a group of New York City independent school admission directors hired two early childhood development experts to develop a virtual assessment to formally assess kindergarten applicants. The assessment, called the Thinking and Engagement Assessment t &E, is designed to reduce the burden of administration of multiple tests in this current environment. Who can take the t and &E test? t and &E is administered to children applying to attend kindergarten in participating schools. How do you register for the t and &E test? Parents will receive a link to register their child when they apply to any participating school. Children can only take the test once, and the results will be shared with all the participating schools. When is the t and &E test administered? Appointments can be scheduled from September 8th through December 18th, seven days a week. Who are the participating schools? Many coveted schools such as Dalton, Chapin, and Collegiate School will require the test. What does the t and &E assess? The t and &E assesses kindergarten readiness skills along with problem-solving ability in young children. We will now show you what type of concepts are covered in this type of assessment. Please note that the sample questions you will see are only to help you understand the underlying concepts that are tested. They do not necessarily represent actual questions from the test. Verbal reasoning, which assesses ability to reasonably answer a question expressed through words. Verbal reasoning includes what, why, who questions, as well as classifications. Example 1. What doesn't belong? The answer is pants. Example 2. What goes together? The answer is A. All the other objects are round. Nonverbal reasoning involves the ability to understand and analyze visual information such as identifying relationships, similarities, and differences between shapes and patterns, recognizing visual sequences and relationships between objects. Example 1. Complete the puzzle. What goes in the empty box? Can you guess the answer? It is 4. Example 2. What comes next in the series? Good guess. The answer is C. Expressive language skills involves the ability to label objects in the environment, describe actions and events, put words together in sentences, use grammar correctly, e.g. I had a drink, not me drinked, retell a story, and answer questions about the story. Example 1. Point to the flower, the hammer, and the crab. Good job! Example 2. What are the kids doing in the picture? Are they fishing, eating, or sitting? They are fishing. Receptive language is the input of language, the ability to understand and comprehend spoken language that you hear or read. For example, a child's ability to listen and follow directions, e.g. put on your shoes, relies on the child's receptive language skills. Example 1. Which picture has a cat that is inside the basket? It is the second one. Example 2. Which picture has a girl jumping rope? The third one. General problem solving skills. These activities range from mazes to puzzles to following instructions to solve a basic problem. Example 1. There is one duck and one moose. How many feet do they have all together? The answer is six. Example 2. Identify the two pieces that make up the puzzle. You are right, it is number two. How is the T&E administered? The T&E assessment is administered via Zoom on a computer or tablet at home. During the assessment, the child will be required to wear headphones. Laptops and tablets should be on a flat surface to ensure the child's hands are free. The test takes approximately 45 minutes and is not timed. At the start of the t and &E, the assessor will guide the child through a variety of activities. Assessors are early childhood experts who have been trained to administer the t and &E. An adult is required to be present at all times during the entire testing session. The adult should wear headphones and engage in a quiet activity such as reading a book and refrain from writing and using any technology such as a mobile phone. The adult should at all times remain in the view of the assessor. Therefore, it is recommended that the adult sit behind and to the side of the child. Parents or guardians are required to sign a consent and release form that prevents them from recording the session, helping the child answer questions, and sharing content of the t and &E test with others. When will I get the results of the t and &E assessment? The t and &E test results will not be shared with families. 
The results will only be sent to the schools of your choice. How can I prepare for the T&E test? T&E assesses kindergarten readiness and problem-solving skills for children ages 4 and 5. It is not a standardized or nationally normed test. Bright Kids has been working with private school admissions testing for many years and have engaged teachers, psychologists, and consultants to help create fun and engaging materials for the T&E test. Our teachers are early childhood educators who have expertise in training and teaching young children. We start our program with a T&E diagnostic to assess your child in order to create an individualized curriculum based on results. In sessions, children will practice on tablets and will work at least 45 minutes to help build stamina. Sessions can take place via Zoom or in person at any of our offices or in the comfort of your home. We also have a range of materials including our Skill Builder card decks which are perfect for preparing for the t &E test and can be purchased on our website. Contact us today for more information at www.bright-kids.com and do not forget to share this video with your friends.